This is 4532 Bertrand Street in Indianapolis in the Eagledale area. Uh, this house is in pretty good condition. We'll walk through it now. The biggest thing you might notice is outside is the yard needs mowed um, before we get a violation from the city. But there's a couple spots in the overhang that need some minor patching and some paint on it. Just, uh, just pretty quick to take care of that. We need a little bit of painting on the uh, brick mold around the doors it looks like it's still the original primer it was never painted inside the house is uh, again looks pretty good condition um, paint so we can get a two-tone two or three tone colors going here we can um, get the ceilings uh, probably ceilings and walls is the same color I'm guessing but to save a little bit of money the kitchen um, paint the cabinets. It is a small kitchen. Paint the cabinets. Um, I'm assuming that the owner has appliances coming. There's a microwave already here from Lowe's and we'd be installing those. There is a problem with the drain in the sink. Um, could be something as simple as grease in the trap uh, without a plunger. I, I tried to, to get it to move but it won't at this point. So paint the cabinets, um, replace the faucet, install the new appliances. Um, I, I'm assuming to save a little money we could actually go with the same countertop um, unless they want that changed. Here's the laundry room right next to the kitchen. There's a hole in the wall that needs to be patched. But other than that, it's, a, it's small but it's very usable. Um, there's the rear door. All the ceiling lights appear to be new within the past, past five years or so. Here's the mechanical room. The water heater um, appears to be about 10 years old or older. Um, typically they put a manufacturer's date, but I can't find it on this one. Um, but it's just looking pretty, pretty raggedy. Furnace is fairly new. Um, again, I'd have to guess that's less than five years old. We do need to put this wire and conduit to uh, keep from getting a red flag on an inspection. Uh, there's no filter in the furnace now, so obviously we'll clean the, the filter ductwork out that we can right here and put a new filter in. Tub is a two-piece fiberglass set uh, in good shape. Clean it up. Uh, we'd replace this faucet because it is the uh, old pro source type that uh, could potentially break. Toilets, uh, older style but still usable. Closets, doors are all working. There's paint and clean is the, the biggest part of this one. Um, there's one door in that laundry room that needs to be put back on, but. The carpet in here is actually very good shape. There's um, very little wear on it, so we suggest a good professional cleaning to um, take care of that. This closet needs a rod and a shelf, and for whatever reason, they've sprayed foam in two different rooms here, so that's got to be cleaned up and uh, the, the hole there patched. This again is another second bedroom. Here's a, a one of the blinds here need to be replaced. Um, these are not working properly. But these are the only two. And then there needs to be a shelf and a proper closet rod in here. They put a shower rod in this one and it's not made to hold the, the weight of clothing. Um, again, the doors work good. And here's bedroom number three. Here's another bedroom where they put foam on the baseboard for some reason. So we clean that off, patch it properly, and make that ugliness go away. Another closet that needs a shelf. And I'll walk outside the backyard now. So 
but again the, the biggest thing is to get the yard mode we clean the gutters make sure they're working test the, the air conditioner of course is fairly new as as was the furnace um, we do have a, a wire a telephone wire that's hanging very low um, not sure where it was supposed to be mounted but it's definitely no good where it is uh, they've got it hanging on this uh, bird feeder hook to keep it from going almost to the ground and uh, that's the bulk of it for 4532 Bertrand Street.